Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. So, you know, sometimes when I get my ideas for which videos I want to make next, I get those ideas from uh, comments that are left on my videos. So sometimes you guys give me those ideas. Sometimes I give myself ideas just from uh, other videos I've been making. And so recently I did a video about, uh, about how I got this watch here from a Walmart store on clearance for just $22. And when I did that video, I showed you these other ones uh, right here that I have that are the same, basically the same model with just different colors. This one here is technically a different model because it's the uh, GW M530, but it's the same module. Everything about it is the same really, except for the colors. And these are different variations of the GW M500. So um, as I got looking at these and, and talking about them in the previous video, I showed you how I had some duplicates of some of these watches. Like, and, and what it was was when I started buying these, um, there were some good deals on eBay, especially eBay was offering um, some, some coupons every, every six weeks or so. There might be a 10% off, 15% off, whatever. A lot of great eBay coupons. So I had acquired a duplicate of, of this one here. So let me just put those together here on the screen. I got a duplicate of this one here, and I got a duplicate of this one from the um, black plus blue collection. So those are my duplicates. And as I put them all together in that previous video, I realized I didn't have a duplicate of this one here, and I didn't have a duplicate of this one here. Now, part of the reason I never had a duplicate of this watch here was that uh, soon after I bought it, uh, if I saw another one online somewhere, uh, like eBay, for example, the prices were just going way, way up on this one until eventually I just didn't see it f available anywhere. Maybe a few used ones here and there, but the price was really high, and I wasn't sure why that was. But I suppose it was just that it was becoming more rare. It's kind of discontinued. This was originally part of a fire package deal that Casio does every year. Every year, they, they'll do a pair of watches that are somehow matched in uh, maybe the basic color schemes. They, they kind of go as a match set, even though you buy them separately. So this was a fire package watch from a few years ago. And at the time, the other one that went with it was, was this. So these were the fire package pair from one time or another. I managed to somehow get these without them being official fire package watches because sometimes, uh, maybe a few months or a year or whenever, uh, after the fire package uh, watch is released, they might release these in some other form. Even though it's, it's exactly the same watch, maybe this was released for warehouse clubs. So someone was able to get this at Costco uh, without the fire package packaging. Or maybe this one might have been available you know, in, in Europe or something like that. So, so anyway, I, I couldn't find a duplicate of this one, but because of that last video I made, I started thinking, well, it's now or never, because these watches are being discontinued. I think all of them are, are officially discontinued, but maybe this one is, is not discontinued yet. So you might be able to still find this for a decent price uh, at Amazon, but all the other versions appear to be discontinued. So I kind of had to make a decision. It's now or never. Am I going to try to find a duplicate of this or not? So I went on eBay and it turns out there was someone in Japan that had one that was used for what I figured was a reasonable price, about $111, I think it was. Anyway, the low 100s. So I decided, hey, it's now or never. So I went ahead and bought it and here it is. And even though it looks like it's in great shape, I mean, the crystal is in great shape. And that's one of the main things you, you worry about is the crystal in great shape. Yes, it is. But also, what about things like, um, you know, the bezel, the, the watch band? And it turns out, uh, you know, they've got some wear and tear on them. So I think what I'll do is the next time there's a sale at Pack Parts, you know, that sometimes they come out with a coupon for 10% off or 20% off or... Well, usually it's, usually it's 10 or 15% off. Anyway, the next time they come up with that coupon, maybe I'll go ahead and get a spare bezel because they do have the exact bezel for this model. And also this little decorative piece here has a little scrape on it. And maybe I'll just get a new watch band while I'm at it. So I could restore this one and make it look like it's uh, basically brand new again. The nice thing about this one, uh, the person who sold it to me, it, it was an official... Uh, Look at that, <laughs> the uh, fire package watch. So this is the official fire package case. Looks like a shipping trunk from days gone by, you know, maybe World War II or older, that kind of thing. But it's just a, a nice, simple thing opens up like that. And the, and the watch was in there when, uh, when I 
and I got it. Okay, so there's your official fire package case. This is the first time I've ever had an official fire package case. So that's nice. Unfortunately, you know, I, I probably won't use it since it's a dark case. You close it up and the watch is in the dark. I have no real reason to use this, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. I'll keep the watch stored in a case where it can get some light. And my daughter thought this was cute, so she wants to use it to play with her dolls or whatever. So that's fine. Anyway, if you do get an official fire package watch, it will come in a fire package case. All right. So out of all of these watches here, um, you know, this was just kind of a regular old release here. These two here were at, uh, you know, Walmart stores. These were originally fire package offerings. These were part of a fire package set. These were not. These were part of a black plus blue set that was available. And this one actually was also part of a fire package set just a few years ago. But it was also widely available uh, elsewhere. You could get these at Walmart for a while. And suddenly these were disappearing too. So I thought, am I going to get serious and just go out look for one more of these? And I found some reasonable prices out there since they're not too rare yet. I was able to find some used and new, you know, for under $100. But uh, these are going to become more rare. I think if I had acted at the right time, I probably could have got a super great deal at a Walmart closeout like I did with this one over here. But anyway, found one online and actually it was uh, the one I got was uh, defective. So the guy I was able to send it back and get a refund. I found another one. So now I have the complete set duplicates of everything except there was a fire package version that came out in the year 2014. And that was the only version of this watch that had a negative display. So I don't typically go after the negative LCD. And uh, but it was a cute little watch. I, I, it has, it's an intriguing style. You can look it up at um, shockbase.org and see that it has kind of a yellow, some yellow highlights and the negative display. That one, that was from 2014, so that's been a while ago. I don't think I'm ever going to find one of those, uh, you know, on eBay or whatever at a, at a reasonable price. And since it's negative display, I won't worry about that one. So now I have, okay, I think I'm through here, especially since this model may be completely discontinued. I'm a little disappointed because normally if, if Casio were going to discontinue these, maybe they would put out, um, you know, an updated version. Like like with the G-Shock Squares, they've got uh, a new module on the newer G-Shock Squares, like maybe they come up with a Bluetooth version or just something like that. I'm still waiting to see if they will do something like that because I really like these watches um, and I'd hate to see them go away forever. But in the meantime, I do have uh, the full collection plus a spare <laughs> on each of those. I think that will uh, do well enough for me. So I guess my, my main point in this video is just to show you that uh, some of these are still out there. And if you're interested in any of them and you see them on eBay or whatever, uh, maybe, you know, make up your mind and act now before they're just all the way gone. So fair warning on that. And then, you know, I, I have to tell you, yeah, okay, look at that. Uh, the other day I was doing some work up in Smithfield, Utah, and uh, I don't get off up that far north into Utah very often. And I realized as I was um, you know, looking at my route to get up there, that I was going to pass very close by three different Walmart stores that I normally don't go to because, uh, you know, I just don't go to that area. And I thought, well, I'll go in and check them out. <laughs> and, and of course, one of them had this watch here and it was marked at $53.50 on clearance. But when I had the, the nice young woman at the fine jewelry counter scan it for me, of course, it rang up as $22 only. So that's why I got this one here. And now, does that mean I'm going to get a, a you know, a, a third, a third one of each of these others? I doubt I'll do that. But in the meantime, how could I pass up another twenty-two dollar deal here on this, uh, you know, clearance priced Walmart special? So anyway, if you have any ideas about these watches or any of the different variations of them, make up your mind now. That's my bottom line. Um, you know, I would love it if I could find one of these in the, in the various colors for under a hundred dollars. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, you can still get replacement parts like the watch band and bezel and stuff for, for most of these, I think, uh, from packparts.com if you, you know, if it's scratched up or marred up in any way. But, uh, well, that's my latest update on the GWM 
500 and 530, and this might be the last time I really highlight these because, uh, you know, I'm, I might be done acquiring them. I'm not done using them, but I might not be able to get more of these, uh, you know, in the immediate future. And that's all for now. Now, I have a bunch of other videos to, uh, to make for you coming soon, so I hope you'll be coming back soon to this channel to watch more of the Good Timekeeping Show.